Monterey Shock was closed down this past July, and now what to do with the buildings and the land? Tonight, a meeting on that attended by members of the community and students from Cornell. WENY's Asia McKenzie was there as well and joins us now in the studio with more. Asia. John, tonight was just a night of ideas. The community got a chance to weigh in on what should happen to a facility that was once the key thing that made the area thrive. To me, it was, it was a terrible thing shutting the camp down. There was so much positive things going on there. Bill Huey worked as a prison guard at the Monterey Shock incarceration facility in the town of Orange from 1999 to when it closed this summer. And like many others, its closing changed his life. Now he wants to see the facility benefit the community once again. They've sunk a lot of money into it for it to just sit there now and not be used. It's just, just wasting away. And that thought is what brought all these people out to a community meeting hosted by Design Connect, a group of Cornell University students focused on addressing issues within nearby communities. We do the legwork of doing a lot of the research, the community meetings, uh, gathering information and putting together ideas um, into a potential project that, that that could be implemented um, or could not. Educational use manufacturing, recreational facility, a mini casino. Right Residents now, of Orange are yeah. throwing out ideas for the old shock facility, but ultimately all want one common thing. We are so strapped here for money. That's the biggest thing. We are the probably the poorest of all the townships in Schuyler County. The Monterey Shock facility was the highest paying job in the town, and it's what brought people and money in. With the camp closing, that eliminated a whole lot of things for us. Our life kind of ended a lot. Now in the next meeting with Design Connect in November, the selected ideas will be presented and discussed. So for more information, just go to our website and click on this story. Asia McKenzie, WENY News.